it's about 9 30 in the evening and i'm with katuya <laughs> And Linda is over there filming. And we are walking through Tamioka to see if there's anyone at home. And the best way to see it is at night because then the light should go on in her house. Um, but still now everything here is dark. And it's super quiet. And the air we breathe is so clear uh, which sounds weird because you probably say yeah but it's radioactive maybe a little bit um, but it smells really good because there's all nature around and uh, the only sound we hear are insects it's pretty Well, we are now at the front of a house where the lights are burning. That's special. But um, it's kind of a medical thing. It, it's not a hospital, it's, it's just for kind of a checkpoint where people can uh, measure the radiation in their bodies, something like that. And apparently there's someone there. Suya here is the manager of a hotel and um, the same owner has a few more hotels one is just around the corner and the other one is over there where the lights are burning and apparently there are a few hotels open and running in Tomioka and um, uh, those are meant um, to host all the people who work here and before the disaster um, all the people who stayed there were workers uh, for TEPCO which is I think still the case but now of course TEPCO also has workers who are cleaning up everything in Fukushima prefecture uh, as well as of course then Tomioko where we are right now um, so yeah that's it so just to show you how quiet it is I'm in the middle of the street and there's up Absolutely no one, nothing. Well, except for those <laughs> Linda Katuya. It's super dark. As you can see, there's a little street uphill, and from here we have a view. Um, completely empty Tomioka, Fukushima. It's so insanely dark, it's hard to show you. This is the view on Tomioka by night, but. For me, I have Linda with me. She's filming over there in the dark, in the middle right now. There's Linda. <laughs> a small light, that's the camera. <laughs> now she's moving. I'm sure that she's going to make better images than I'm doing right now with my phone. But just to let you know, it's quiet, it's dark, it's empty. There's nothing in Tomioka. It seems we found the first house with someone at home. See? One light is burning. Not sure. Shall we knock on the door? Linda? Linda? What do you think? Shall we knock on the door? <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit late in the evening. <laughs> I have a sense that Japanese people are going to bed really early. Well, the light is burning though, but I might scare them because they're probably 
not used to people knocking on their door because there's no one here. Oh, there's another house with lights burning over there in the middle. Two houses already. Well, they're supposed to live 170 people here. Out of the former 160,000. Is that true? No, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, one of the former 16, 16,000 inhabitants before the disaster. Dit ook nieuw is, toch? This building looks new, yes. But it also seems empty. It's not. <laughs> so we're at the end of our walk. We're almost uh, at uh, our hotels again. Um, just wanted to show you that there's absolutely nothing in Tomioka, Fukushima. All the houses are almost all the houses are empty. There's no one on the street except for us. Um, yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>